530. Philadelphia police are ramping up their efforts to get these five suspected murders off the streets. Some of the fugitives, we're being told, have been on the run now for more than two years. Police say they are making progress and they are solving more homicides compared to the previous years. Action News reporter John Paul now live for us at police headquarters with more on what police, uh, how they're marking the success and what they're attributing it all to, John. Yeah, sure. You know, one of the reasons among many is that the homicide rate is actually down roughly about 17 percent. Still, while that's happening, they need help finding five murder suspects who they believe are on the run. We need your help. Everybody has to go to sleep somewhere. Everybody eats somewhere. Investigators want to know where these five men are sleeping and eating. Each accused of murder is in the northwest section of the city and each still on the run. We don't have any patience for people who are deliberately concealing killers. That is a crime. Today, the district attorney and the Philadelphia sheriff held a news conference to highlight the fugitives and ask for help. 16-year-old Dayron Bernie Thorne is accused of two murders just hours apart in September, including the killing of 14-year-old Nicholas Elizalde in the mass shooting outside of Roxborough High School in September. 23-year-old Kyrie Dennis is accused of killing a 69-year-old man at an ATM on Germantown Avenue in March of 2022. 29-year-old Shafiq Lewis wanted for the fatal shooting of a 13-year-old on North Judson Street outside of a school in 2021. John Taylor and Alejandro Tilly are both wanted for shootings in 2022 as well. The 6ABC data journalism team uncovered that police are solving more homicides. The clearance rate is up to more than 63% increasing from the previous two years. We asked about that today. The DA says there are several reasons, including a falling homicide rate, down 17% so far this year, more people helping police, and they've added more detectives. As a homicide rate comes down, they're less overwhelmed, they're more able to do an excellent job on each case, and I think, uh, I think that is helping. Something else that seems to be helping as well, shootings. Those are actually down roughly 17% as well. Of course, that'll help lessen the workload too. Live outside of police headquarters, John Paul, Channel 6.